Right, starting out a drawing in Inventor, you must click on the new button. Then from your templates, you should select uh, English US. After that, English or metric is your choice. For this particular video, I am gonna go with the English system. We are gonna do a standard inch IPT. Then I'm gonna go hit create. Right, to do any sort of a drawing, we're gonna start a two-dimensional sketch. Always click on the picture. People that click on this button ox, ox, accidentally often get into a 3D sketch, not what we're looking for. So my advice is click on the picture. Here are different coordinate planes. You might remember talking about uh, the XY plane in a math class, and that is the plane that we want to draw on. As soon as we click on that plane, you can see we get an X, Y coordinate with a dot in the middle. That dot in engineering at least is called the origin. I'd like you to start out by trying a few basic shapes. The most basic of all is the rectangle. So I'm gonna click on the picture of the rectangle. This one is called a two point rectangle, which means I click one point, move my mouse over and click a second point, and that allows me to create a square. Typically when you're first learning how to use this software, my advice is to draw three to five squares. Go ahead and hit pause on this video while you try those out. All right, after you have drawn three to five squares, then I would switch into the circle tool. But before you do that, look on your keyboard right now. Oftentimes I'll look in the upper left-hand corner and I will hit escape. That gets me out of any tool that I might currently be in. Now I'm gonna go to the circle tool. Again, I'm clicking on the picture. There are lots of different options underneath, but the one we want is just the default a center point circle. So I click on that tool, a center point circle will start with a click and that will be the center point of your circle. I'm moving my mouse now to go ahead and create additional circles. Same thing, my advice would be to do three to five different circles and practice those out. Go ahead and hit pause on this video and try those things out. The next tool that I would check out if I were you anyways is the arc tool. And this particular arc is called a three point arc. That means we're gonna click a point. You'll actually go click a second point and then this third click will, you know, define how big the arc is. So here I go, I am gonna click on this tool, I click on a point, I'm going to click on a second point, move my mouse, and create an arc. Just like with the other tools, my advice is to do three to five of these so you get the hang of it. That brings us up to our final tool of the day. The final tool is a nice to know tool. It is called the trim tool. So say you have several overlapping shapes like I do here, the trim tool allows you to trim pieces of those. So right up here, there's a pair of scissors and that is the trim tool. I'm gonna to click on that and it allows me to go in to my drawing. And as you're seeing on screen here, I am clicking on segments of each shape where they overlap each other. And then I'm just creating one super large shape.
Stay tuned in our next video where you will learn how to make two-dimensional shapes three-dimensional. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching my video. If you've appreciated this content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.